Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome to my final video for October 2024. Each month I like to stop by and share a look with you at what I received in my P.O. box for the month. Most times these are sheet load cards for the show us your sheet load feature, and other times they are happy mail just because. Now if you ever want to send a card, my P.O. box is at the bottom of the description box, and if you're going to show us a sheet load, I do have the updated guidelines video down there as well. In that video, I tell you about the different ways you can show us your sheet load, whether that is sharing online or sending in a card for this end of the month video. I always love to see what you're creating, and I love the little notes you send in your cards as well. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at what came in October? Before I open the mail, I did want to stop by with a special channel member shout out. I would like to say welcome and thank you to my newest paper trimmer level member, eDesigns 2G. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you as well to all of my channel members. You keep me creating here on YouTube and help keep Sheetload of Cards free for all subscribers. If you're interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, check out the join button below this video or the link in the description box. This first card is from Sarah Liz of Nebraska, who you might know from her Sassy's LLC channel here on YouTube. Not only is this a super adorable card, but it's also interactive. Look how that sun spins, and I just love the glasses on it. Another thing that makes this card special is the fact that it got handed to me personally by Sarah Liz. Recently, I met her in person for the first time when we got together with Danny of Danny's Dreams for lunch and a little crafty shopping at Scrapbook Haven here in Omaha. Janet R. of Texas used the September 2023 sheet load to create this adorable 5x7 thank you card. I love those pretty papers on the front and the sweet note inside. Cheryl from Utah took a little break from paper crafting, but when she got back into it, she decided to use the October 2024 sheet load to make this adorable Halloween card. I love the fun papers and how her sentiment strip has a tearing on the edge, and even on the inside she has that same effect on the place to write the personal message. I am always excited to get happy mail, but when I saw this note on Sandra J. from Washington's card, I was even more intrigued. I wasn't sure why I had to wait until October 11th, but when I opened it, I totally understood. She made me this adorable half birthday card with a nice present inside. Thank you so much, Sandra, for the card and gift. I'll make sure to use it wisely. Jean M. from Pennsylvania took the time to send me this lovely fall sending smiles card. Fall is one of my favorite seasons and I love all things leaves, so this was right up my alley. Susie N. from Iowa sent me this adorable Peanuts Halloween card using the October 2024 sheet load. It totally brings me back to elementary school when they would drag in the TV and VCR on that big cart so we could watch, what is it, it's a great, or it's the great pumpkin Charlie Brown. Let me know in the comment section below if that was a memory from your childhood as well. Polly N. from Texas sent me this beautiful card that features one of my favorite presents from last year's advent calendar series, the little layered kind of mod stencil from Spellbinders, and she let me know on the inside she is getting excited for December. I am too, Polly. Up next is a package from Alice R. of Colorado, who is also getting ready for December. And she used my very favorite present from the Spellbinders advent calendar last year, that layered hello die. Not only did I get that beautiful card, but she has shared some Christmas ephemera with me. I can't wait to put it to use. Thank you so much, Alice. 
Kathy B. from California also spoiled me with a crafty package this month. Inside her package was a card with a note and three examples using the September 2024 sheet load of cards. She also shared some of the paper she used to make those cards and some ribbon. Again, I cannot wait to use this. Thank you so much. Don't I have some of the most talented subscribers out there? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you agree. Thanks to everyone who took the time to send in a card and for your nice notes, and especially to Alice, Kathy, and Sandra for your little gifts. I hope to be back for a live in November to use up some of the papers, ribbon, and ephemera that I was sent. And until tomorrow, where I'll be sharing the brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.